Hello everyone! In this video, we will learn how to create an approximation model using Model Builder tool in P7 Analyze. In the first part, we will consider general idea of approximation models and their potential applications. Then I will introduce the demo case and show how to build the approximation model in P7 step by step. Let's begin with introduction. Approximation models allow capturing essential knowledge from vast amounts of data in a convenient format. Accelerate the computation of complex simulation models by many orders of magnitude. For example, for fast parametric and optimization studies and safely exchange models between partners preserving IP rights. The approximation models are fast and cheap to evaluate and should predict the response as accurate as possible in the whole range of input parameters. The approximation model can be built on dataset, gathered on analytical or simulation model, or in the lab. P7 includes a set of tools for building and managing approximation models that can work with both data gathered from automated simulations workflows in P7 and datasets imported from CSV or Excel files. These tools allow to build fast and robust approximation models with automatic selection of technique for better accuracy. Validate quality. Test against reference data and compare models to find the best approximation. Explore behavior of multidimensional models with studying input-output dependencies. And export models to external files, including C source code, MATLAB, Octave, Excel, and FMI. The approximation model in P7 can be created in the Approx Builder block during workflow run or with the use of Model Builder tool in Analyze. In this video, we will focus on Model Builder interface and capabilities. We will start from a training sample, which is a table of input and corresponding output values, build the approximation model, and export it for standalone application. To create the approximation model, P7 provides a variety of industry-proven techniques for any type of data and approximation. They cover a great variety of industry cases and data types. However, it is always a problem to choose the best one for particular case. That is why we created a special technique called Smart Selection. It is a built-in decision tree with a hierarchical system of options for automatic choosing and tuning of the most effective approximation technique for a given type of problem and data. With Smart Selection, you can build approximation model with best accuracy, literally in couple of mouse clicks. Let's consider the model building using P7 Analyze in the following example. We will create approximation model to predict mass, displacement, and stress of high-speed rotating disk obtained in finite element simulation model for various geometry configuration. Disk geometry is described by four radii, R1, R2, R3, R4, and two thicknesses, T1 and T3. We used a 200-point uniform design of experiment plan. Simulation automation and design of experiment study were in details considered in previous videos. Now let's see how to use Model Builder in P7 Analyze. We will start on the Analyze tab with nine data series in the Report Database. There are six input geometry variables and three outputs for mass, displacement, and stress. Let's select all of them and click Build Model button from the Data Series pane menu, or click the Build Model button on the toolbar. The dialog with the selected data series appears. By default, only the last one is considered as output, and we can set others one by one, or select all of the outputs and click the special button from above. We can specify a meaningful model name, and add comment here. Model Builder works in two modes, Smart Selection, by default, and Manual, as advanced. Smart Selection algorithm does not require any settings to build the model with best accuracy. However, can use various hints to speed up training or build a model with specific properties. Let's click plus button. Here we can see additional hints. They are divided into three groups. First is the data features that allow to specify more information about the sample. The second is model requirements that allow to control the desired model properties. And the third is training features that allow to select approximation properties. 
Despite that smart selection automatically chooses the most efficient approximation algorithm, sometimes it is useful to demand the particular model features to be present. In engineering applications, it is helpful to estimate predicted error in any point. Let's add accuracy evaluation. Since we have no more requirements for the model axe, click Build button. We can see the training is in progress. We can set up another models even during the building of the first one. With selected data series, click Build model again. Set model outputs. Model name in this case. And select the technique manually. For example, let's specify RSM technique. And build a model. RSM model is queued. You can also use retrain option for creating model with slightly different properties. To delete a model, click Remove in Configuration tab. Or use Delete button. Double click on the model shows detailed information about its structure and accuracy, including info about techniques, training sample, and error values calculated on the training dataset and obtained during internal validation. We will consider ways to check the model accuracy and compare several models in details in next video. Ready model can be exported in MATLAB, FMI format, or C code. Let's save the model in Excel file. Let's check the result. We can see a column of input parameters and a column of outputs. Let's change the value of the radius R1. We can see the outputs automatically change. It can be very convenient to add some more information about research object. For example, comments, images, graphs as shown in this example. In this case, we will have a special visual tool to solve the problem. That's it! Thanks for your attention, and goodbye.